It is, uh, what day is it today? I am on my way to get a massage. Well, I'm not on the way out, but I'm gonna go get a massage today because I need one. Uh, my stomach was like really hurting. Like the lipo part was like burning. So I just thought, okay girl, you need I cannot stop drinking coffee. I just Okay, we're in the car. Yes, finally. I'm driving like a grandma. I should really be driving a little faster because my appointment is in 15 minutes, y'all. I recently started to post on my close friends only. It was like because um uh i don't know i just feel like i've been so to sorry i don't even know how to say this i've been in so many situations where i feel like people are being genuine and they're not and i really never learned my lesson because i tend to trust people easy i'm a very giving person i'm a very generous person i'm very nice like and i will always be like this you know i'm never gonna stop being this way because this is how I am and you know what if it fucking doesn't kill me it makes me stronger but there's certain like red flags that like I should probably pay attention to next time <laughs> if this happens again hopefully not um but even as of late like some a situation happened where you know I thought somebody really had good intentions and comes out they don't mind you i could be a bitch i could be super mean i could be rude but there's people that are evil and spiteful like that's a whole other level of just really ugly it's like i need to allow myself to have friends like me because i tend to give my all when it comes to like friendships and stuff so I don't know if any of this makes sense, but my social anxiety is just over the roof and I am becoming so like, oh my God. I mean, so I have to prep for my console, my lip lift console that I told you guys about. Let me clean my face. I need to drink more water because my face feels so Good morning. Mm. Hi, how are you? What was that? You were working out. You guys, it is so freaking hot. Anyway, I am on my way to Sophia's job because I'm gonna drop her off some flowers. Um, somebody was selling flowers on the street and I was like those are pretty let me buy them I'm on my way to Orange County I'm just gonna make a quick stop at my mother's job and get her some flowers it's just hot I'm not the type of person that likes to make pit stops so this is a big deal okay but my mom deserves flowers even if she's moody at times so let me just Pull up on her real quick. Hopefully she's there by herself because I told her to wait. Y tu qué haces? Then te traje algo. Why so many? Thank you. Oh, I'll put one in my office. Let me see. They're nice, huh? Yeah. Wait, let me take a picture of you. No. Why would I want them? Show them to me. No, like you did right now. Como? Las juntas. Oh. Es que no te ves. Hi, everyone. No one see. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. 
Hold on. Okay. Hi everyone! Look at my flowers, they're so pretty! Um, very, very. Yeah, I just went. I'm just gonna go to the block real quick. To do what? To see what I can find, and then I have to go home. I have a busy week. Busy week? Next week? This week. I went to Ulta. I had to repurchase the fussy lip gloss by Fenty Beauty because I left it in somebody's car and this person and I no longer talk. And then I also got Lily Lashes in Miami. This is my first time trying Miami. So wish me luck. I feel like it might be a little too dramatic, but whatever. And then also I went to Ulta and somebody recognized me. Like I was like, wait, wait, wait. Is this real life? Because I mean, I don't have a lot of subscribers and like usually people that have a lot of subscribers are the girls that get recognized like Maybe this girl Confused me for somebody. I don't know, but it made me feel really good. It made my day and if it is If she really did think it was me then shout out to you girl You made my day Thanks Girl wants to cut it short again because I loved my short hair when I cut it it what was that did you guys hear that what the hell anyway when I cut my hair it was so short really out this is my hair I feel like it's like super short but um it's perfect now I have to get back home call Robert I cut my hair. Okay, so I cut my hair. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have to go home. Okay, bye. Oh my god, I feel like my haircut this time around has been not the cutest. Or maybe I just need to get myself together because I feel fugly. Anyway, so I'm going to brunch today to meet my friend Yamila. It's her birthday. Ooh, um, it's her birthday on the 29th and she's doing a brunch today. So, hold on. Uh, I need to charge my phone because I'm running late as fuck. Lunch probably started already. And I have to drive to Orange County. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. My makeup is going to be super fast. Oh my god. And I need to put my nail on. So let's put these babies on. To clean up, you know what? I also have to get her gift bag. So I'm back home. I didn't get to film anything that happened at brunch because it wasn't really wild like that or anything. We literally were just chilling and hold on. It was a vibe. Like, I love going out like this. Let me put these up finally. Oh my god. So it's another day. Um, supposed to be going to the gym right now. I haven't really done anything today. I am just so out of it. I, I'm just so out of it. Anyway, so I recently purchased, oh, I recently purchased a new perfume. 
by Rado Gypsy Water. This took me a while to buy because it is pretty expensive. But I was like, I'm a perfume. That is everything to me. So I just had to indulge. So I'm opening it up for the first time. I have the sample. Anyway, this is the box. I got the full size one. I think it was like two something. Super cute packaging. This is what it looks like. Oops, almost dropped it. You open it and this is it. Super nice. Authentication card, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Is the bottle it's the larger bottle it's gonna look so good in my collection oh my god you guys this smells so good it is nighttime and i'm going out let me guys let me show you guys my outfit i'm really proud of it because i like maneuvered i finessed it so this is the mizey wyland bodysuit these are the sleeves that are supposed to go like their sleeves, but I like changed it into a halter. And then there's a zipper in the back. <laughs> I'm proud of this outfit, but hopefully everything stays intact because everything is just out, you know? So, hoping for the best. Let me just fix this. I'm going to this bar in downtown. It's actually a Spanish club called La Cita in downtown. So my battery's dying. Yeah, I'm gonna have something to drink before I leave. Something like, oh, I smell. I have not washed my underarms. I mean, my hair. The keys. I need to make sure these do not go missing. Because, y'all, I lost my keys. The last time I went out. I'm going to tell you guys what happened. I got attacked by a man. Okay, let me just also carry some cash. I need my lipstick. Okay, so it's the day after last night. I got a little bit of footage. It was so hot in there, you, you guys. Literally, I was sweating. I was like a glazed donut sweating so much. Um, I didn't drink a lot, thank God. I really just, I think after the last incident two weeks ago where I got attacked and lost my keys and everything i feel like ever since then i just don't have a taste for alcohol like i just don't really care to drink anymore and i kind of kind of helped me just be a little more vigilant and not as careless because i don't know about you guys but once you mix tequila and reggaeton like it's over like i literally am just living my best life and not really thinking about like what ifs and a lot of these times, like, I'll go out with my friends, my girlfriends, and it's just us. And just a lot of stuff can happen, especially, you know, out here in L.A. There's just bad people everywhere, but L.A. is wild. Anyway, so it is 1.33 in the afternoon, and I'm still in bed. I had to finish some work earlier this morning, so luckily I got that done. 
and I just haven't been able to leave my bed. Like, I'm PMSing, I'm just chilling. I have work later, I have to prepare for work. I have a few things that I need to do, and I'm not doing them. <laughs> but yeah. What's up? Wait, is it on the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, so I am on my way to my parents' house. These fucking cars don't know how to drive, but whatever. Oh, there's a car. Great. Um, anyway, I'm on my way to my parents' house right now. And no, actually, rewind. I'm on my way to go get my uh, compression garment. And this is gonna be a stage three. So I've had the stage two for, I wanna say 30, wait, April, May, June, July, three months. And I kinda want something a little more snatched, I guess you can say. Um, so my current, my current, compression garment is a size small and I'm sizing down to an extra small just to snatch me up a little bit and honestly the compression garments do work so especially right now since I'm literally like five months post-op I feel like I need to be really consistent and like you know so that's what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go to Karina Lily hopefully I can film inside there if not I will show you guys pictures but her compression garments are the best I love it I love them they're affordable a little distance from my house but whatever anyway and then after we're gonna go visit Sophia and Fernando my dad so let's go but I want to show you guys the compression garment and also I ordered um what did I order lymphatic like, lymphatic drainage drops so I'm gonna take those um when I wear my compression garment, I can definitely tell the difference in my waist. Um, somebody told me, like, you don't need to wear it all the time, like, after, like, the few months. And I thought, okay, you know, if they're so uncomfortable, I'm not wearing it. So I wasn't wearing it as consistently. And I was, I was told to pretty much wear it for five hours every day. I was not doing the five hours every day. I was literally doing it whenever I remembered. And then I just decided to actually wear it consistently five hours at least every day or as much as I could and I could tell the difference in my um, my waist which is crazy but <sighs> welcome to surgery life I got my lymphatic drainage drops these are from Mary Roots these are organic lymphatic drainage okay so that's what they look like these are not the same brand um, that I used the first time, but I will say that the, fir the first time I ever used lymphatic drainage drops, it was really a game changer. So, we're first, and it says to take one to three times a day, or as recommended by a physician or healthcare, blah blah blah. Take up to 30 drops one or three times a day. So, that's what we're gonna do and put in my cup. So what I used to do um, when I first got my surgery, I used to take these every day, twice a day, or I would put the two doses in one big mason jar. So I would constantly be uh, taking the, uh, what's it called? The drops, like I'd just be drinking it throughout the day. So we're gonna do 30 drops. This is the extra small. This is kind of the back. It is really tight. But I like it because I feel like it's just right. So this is how snatched I am right now. What I like to do is like, don't mind my underarms. I like to like lift it from the back and then from the front. So it's a little stiff just because I just got it. But that's normal. And it'll get used to your body, eventually get a little looser. The thighs feel good i got it in black because they didn't have nude and you know me i cannot wait i'm a very impatient person so yeah happy friday welcome back to another day it's another day i don't know welcome whatever whatever vlog this is gonna be 
resuming from. So, I just got back from the gym. Your girl has to make breakfast, shower, get ready for my 10 a.m. client, which is in an hour. My training right this was a dress i wanted to wear this for my training but clearly it does not fit me so i tied it up and y'all cute ass outfit it's a little out there but whatever anyway i'm late bye